the more trouble Rasmus is having, just changing a racket. Now, I have no idea why, though. She did just m overhit a bunch of balls, so I just feel she needs something a little different. Good Elon. Skeen has been averaging 100 before this match for the first serve and 77 for the second. Late, first serve. I have to say that yesterday, although Moresmo was playing a totally different opponent in Ivanovic, she was chipping the return and keeping it low very effectively. This forehand, she really concentrates and makes no two ways about this volley. It's a wonderful forehand volley in general, but perfect touch on that. Late, first time. Okay, Miss Miskingham. Love three. Fifteen love. Suddenly the forehand going a bit astray from Resma, but it was an absolutely fantastic overhead, wasn't it? She really leapt in the air. Very, very athletic. Mm. Well, she's just such a good mover. 30, 15. And this year, Barry, she's been particularly fit, Moresmo, and it's sort of nice to see her without any strapping on. It used to be one of those things oh, Emily always needs to have a bandage somewhere, almost as a security bandage. Toes just slightly over the baseline by Moschina. Three games to one second set. Putting together two very good shots. They're good serve. She got the short return and really hit the nice ball off the next one. Oh. 30 long. Certainly upping the pace of the serve in the second set. Mm. 
Forty to fifteen. So forehand has gone absent without leave. Especially on the slow serve. There are not too many people who just hitting that second serve at that pace. And oh. Never got on top of the wall. Forty thirty. You know, very often Moschina does run around the ball in the middle of the court. And instead of taking it on the forehand, she takes it on the backhand and she usually drills that most successfully, but that wasn't too terrific. with the ball. Certainly both are utilizing that wide serve. Thirty long. Tell me about her feet in relation to where she was trying to hit the ball. Oh, they look on in bewilderment too, <laughs> but at least some encouragement there. Miskina leads four games to two, second set. The best that Miskina ever did at Wimbledon, has done at Wimbledon, was last year when she got to the quarterfinal and lost to this very same opponent. Oh. Out. Love 13. Skeen's got to really stay tough here because she got pretty despondent miss hitting those couple of balls in the previous game. He wasn't quite as good as she'd have liked it to have been, and Moresmo so speedy. Pretty comfortable overhead. Thirty fifteen. Was it the same guy who tried to catch that ball? <laughs> wasn't quite as deep, I don't think. <laughs> it's come back to the same lady that. <laughs> Trying to dig it out from a little slightly boxed area. 40 15. Good flat for a serve. Thank 
30. Shame it had to be lost rather than won. Cheers. Because finally we had quality from both players. 18 stroke rally. Best Juice, sorry. Best rally of the match, wasn't it? Until the end. Oh. A very unconfident serve, that last one. Advantage, Ms. Moresmo. Very late decision for, by Moresmo to play it. And here's a chance for Moresmo to break back. the quarterfinal has suddenly come alive. It's um, more like it. It would be good if we can uh, move to a final set here. Thank you. It might be one to remember. intensity in this point from Ms. Skeena. She was going to make that volley anyway, despite the fact that she had Emily slipping and sliding on the other side. Oh. Juice. Just when you think they're beginning to really feel the ball, it goes all wrong. She got away with a very soft serve. Again, Moresmo overhitting because it was so soft. Deuce. Oh. All the fourth time. Deuce. It's fascinating how she always looks up at her, her team. Somehow it appears to be their fault. Oh, she always yells at Jens. Oh. It's funny, everybody. Every, she's famous for doing it, or infamous. Ah, it's a wonderful shot by Moresmo. So good on the forehand volley. That one was really untakeable. I'm amazed Muskeen even got a racket on it. Just look at that, the racket out in front, and she so balanced when she hits it. Well played. Great point again.
Juice. Great point. And Probably. that means that mine's... <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> oh, that really shot. Love 15. Fifteen on. I just had to do a comparison of a forehand volley from the 70s to one from today's age. It was quite hard to find a good forehand volley coming out of today's players, but I certainly chose Maresmo. I, thought she, I think she has a fabulous forehand volley. Impassive, Rasmus coach. I think he might even need the dark glasses on a cloudy day sometimes. Game is more as more. Miss Miskina leads five games to three, second set. Sure, as we check the score that the viewers would love to know who you use as your forehand from the past. Well, it was Billy Jean Hangs. Because they asked me to go back a bit, otherwise I could have chosen Martinez or... I mean, any number of them were good, but uh, Billie Jean had such a solid forehand volley, but Mesquina's is slightly different, but it's tremendous, has tremendous touch. so interesting about 30, this match 15. is that they both are coming up with such a variety of shot uh, constantly. Obviously, Maresma does, but Moschino also. Oh. 
13. Gorazimo got the soft one right that time. She pushed it a bit and it was very effective. Yeah, I think that's what she does best. And then if she can come in behind it, I mean, she's going to win more points than if she just makes errors. Ah, oh, she backed off that one. See, the one before, she chipped it, but she went forward with it. That one, she chipped it and fell back, and that was a bad time to give away a point. As it's now set point. <laughs>